Hi there, welcome to TAM Studios. My name's Christopher Vizi, a technical account manager based out of Melbourne. Today's feature review is based on new functionality called Virtual Supervisor Copilot and Supervisor Copilot. Both were released on March 24. If you're interested to know more, follow along. Supervisor and Virtual Supervisor Copilots are AI tools designed to aid supervisors in monitoring and managing the performance of agents within the contact centre. They offer insights into core quality, agent productivity, and customer satisfaction metrics. By analysing interactions, it can identify coaching opportunities and recommend interventions to improve team performance to ensure compliance with service standards. Virtual Supervisor Copilot is AI scoring of agent evaluation forms, and Supervisor Copilot includes both AI Translate in translating interaction transcripts and AI insights for supervisors to gain a quick overall understanding of each interaction via a summary within the interaction without reading the entire transcript. All supervisor co-pilot capabilities are chargeable via tokens at different rates. Jump onto the Genesis Cloud Resource Center and review the Genesis Cloud AI experience token and pricing page for further information. New permissions are required within roles to grant access to enable both supervisor co-pilots. Having these permissions indicates that the given user can enable a form with AI scoring. Further information also can be found on the Genesis Cloud Resource Center. So let's jump into each new capability to provide some further details. Firstly, Virtual Supervisor Copilot. Administrators, supervisors, and quality managers can now use generative AI to automatically answer questions in evaluation forms when using Virtual Supervisor Copilot. When creating AI scoring questions, the scoring analyzes information from the question group, the individual question, the help desk, and answer fields to generate the response. This feature helps evaluators by pre-filling answers, reducing manual effort, and providing efficiencies in the quality management process. There are some things to be aware of with AI scoring. When configuring AI questions, there is a maximum of 15 questions with AI scoring within one evaluation form. Multiple choice questions with AI scoring enabled cannot be more than three answer options. An example being yes, no, and maybe. And you can add up to 10 evaluation assistant conditions into each evaluation form. When creating the AI questions within an evaluation form, there are some best practice guidelines to be aware of. When constructing each question, focus on transcript-derived answers. What we mean by this is to ensure that your answers are directly answerable based on the transcript data. Try and avoid questions requiring information not available within the transcript or beyond the conversation context. Also, keep the instructions straightforward. Use simple, actionable language to guide AI scoring as it will also improve the question clarity and always refine continuously. You're able to also leverage the AI feedback to improve the clarity and relevance of questions. If the quality assessor changes the answer in any way, this is deemed thumb downs to the feedback to the AI. If the assessor leaves the AI response untouched, the answer is deemed thumbs up in regards to the feedback response. As we discussed earlier, Virtual Supervisor obtains information from the following fields within the evaluation form. These being the question group, the actual question, the help text, and the answer fields to generate a response. Here are some great examples of some questions and help tasks to guide the virtual supervisor to answer the question correctly. If you wish, you can pause the recording at this point. Now onto Supervisor Copilot, which includes both AI Translate and AI Insights. AI Insights Summary provides supervisors with an overview of the customer agent interaction transcript. Within this information, supervisors can quickly assess key topics customer sentiment, and agent performance without reading the full transcript. 
the AI summary can be found in the AI Insights tab next to the Events tab within the Interaction view. This feature is especially useful for quality assurance, coaching and training, and identifying trends in customer interactions. Admins can now turn on summaries on and off for specific cues or flows by adjusting the AI Insights toggle in the Speech and Text Analytics Program Editor page. These summaries provide an overview for key topics and issues discussed during an interaction. Helping supervisors quickly assess customer sentiment, agent performance, and common themes without reading the full transcript. This feature supports transcripts in English and Spanish across voice, chat, and messaging interactions, and helps supervisors and business analysts efficiently review interactions for quality assurance, coaching, trend identification, and root cause. Please note that only new interactions are summarized once enabled. As you may be aware, the transcript tab provides a speaker separated transcription for the conversation between the customer and the agent. Transcripts provide insight into what took place within the interaction, allowing the user to uncover business problems as well as areas of opportunity. What Genesis Cloud can do now is translate that transcription on demand and this feature is designed for supervisors and contact center managers. It allows you to convert the text of an interaction transcript, whether that be voice, chat, digital messages, or emails, into your individual preferred dialect. This translation appears directly beneath the original transcript, helping you quickly understand the context, even if the interaction was conducted in another language or dialect. So let's jump into a demo and see how this runs. Okay, here is my sandbox environment to let you know that I have the roles and permissions as an agent, a team leader, and WEM administrator, which includes quality. So the first thing we need to do is go into our admin page and enable AI Insights. This is through the program page under quality. If we bring that up, go into the program that we've currently enabled and make sure that the AI Insights area has been enabled by this tick box. Please remember that this is where you actually assign your certain cues and flows for the AI-enabled insights to be active on. So let's jump into a evaluation form and show you how we create the AI-related questions. Let's go to Quality Evaluation Forms. And I've already built one called Custom Service Evaluation AI Scoring. As you can see, we've got a number of questions within individual groups. We've got questions in opening, product knowledge, professionalism, cancellation, and closing. So let's jump into the first question, 1.1. Did the agent greet the customer and request their reservation number? So we've actually got a more detailed explanation within the help text to help the AI scoring answer the question. It reads, agent is required to greet the customer professionally and request their four digit reservation number within the first one minute of the call. From this, AI scoring will then evaluate the transcript and answer either yes or no. Let's jump into another question. Did the agent attempt to upsell the customer? This is also an AI scoring question. And the help text reads, the agent can attempt to upsell the customer for an upgrade to business class and offer to use the customer's frequent flyer points to purchase the upgrade. With that, the answers also are yes and no. So how does that look when a AI evaluation form has been attached to an interaction? So let's go into one that's previously been completed via policies. And as you can see, when it comes up, it's in the pending state. And you can see here that we've got seven questions answered via AI scoring and two questions answered using the evaluation assistant, using topics. So in regards to the first question, did the agent greet the customer and request their reservation number? 
It's answered yes, but it's also given a reason why it answered yes. And it reads, the agent does greet the customer and request a reservation number within the first one minute of the call. Specifically, the agent says, if I can ask for your reservation number, please, which indicates they are following the expected protocol for opening the call. Also, in regards to professionalism, did the agent attempt to upsell the customer? It answered yes also, and the reasoning why it answered is advised below. The agent does attempt to upsell the customer by offering a business class upgrade. Specifically, the agent states, I do see that you have quite a lot of frequent flyer points there. Would you like to use them to upgrade to business class? This shows the agents proactively suggesting an upgrade to the customer, which is an upselling tactic. As you can see also, I do have questions within this evaluation form using topic detection. Did the customer display empathy during the call? It's answered yes. And the topic detection has picked up phrases, I'm so sorry to hear that and I do apologize. So also with Supervisor Copilot, we have the additional functionality of AI Translate. And if I pull that across, the AI Insights. As you can see, there is a interaction summary that is pulled into the interaction view. And it reads, the customer called to complain about a canceled flight from Melbourne to Sydney. The agent verified the customer's reservation details and confirmed the cancellation was due to bad weather. The agent then offered to book a new flight for the following morning at 9 a.m. The customer accepted this option the agent also offered an upgrade to business class using the customer's frequent fly points, which the customer accepted. The customer expressed satisfaction with the resolution and agreed to participate in a post-call survey. As you can see also, we do have the reason for sentiment also, being flight resolution. It reads the agent's ability to resolve the issue with the cancelled flight by booking a new one in business class. Now with Supervisor Copilot, we do have the functionality to translate the transcript. As you can see here, we do have the transcript in English running through, but now we have this translate transcript option. We can click the little arrow and we've got various different languages to choose from. In this case, I'm choosing German. We'll let that run in the background as it's translating on demand. As you can see, line by line, it has actually translated the English to German. So that concludes the demo for Virtual Supervisor Copilot and Supervisor Copilot. So I hope you enjoyed this WEM overview on both Supervisor and Virtual Supervisor Copilots. If you have any questions or feedback, please email us at tamstudios at genesis.com. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the next one.